Charlotte Eagle Nation, I'm Katie Tolbert. And I'm Shaquem Holloway. And this is Sports Talk with the George Ann. Today we'll be talking about baseball sweeping Davidson College, softball struggling over the break, the GSU all-girl cheerleading squad going 3-0 in its home stunt tournament, and the men's tennis team going 2-2 over the break. So the baseball team looked really strong over the break. What aspects of the Eagles game led them to sweep Davidson? It was their pitching easily. Their weekend rotation has been very strong. Jason Richmond and Sam Howard, they've been headlining that weekend rotation with impressive wins and impressive pitching, and they've, they've been propelling the Eagles to wins. And on the other hand, Katie, tell us about the softball team going 1-7 over the break. Well, they faced some really outstanding pitchers the whole break. They started out at the FSU tournament, and GSU, unfortunately, only had four hits in the first day and ten hits in the second. But although the ladies lost seven games, their one win against the Call of Charleston was on junior pitcher Sarah Purvis's 21st birthday. So I would say that was kind of a fun thing for her over the break. That's great for her to get a win on her birthday. And with that, we'll be right back after the short break to talk about the GSU All-Girl Cheer Squad. And we're back to talk about the GSU stunt tournament that took place on Sunday. Georgia Southern competed against the University of Georgia and Florida State University in a doubleheader this weekend. They went 3-0 overall in the first tournament. The Eagles were falling behind UGA, but were able to pull it through in the fourth quarter with the team performance and took the first tournament. GSU was supposed to have a break during the second tournament, but a UGA athlete became sick, forcing the Eagles to compete against FSU two times. The Eagles did not skip a beat and defeated FSU back-to-back. -back. The GSU all-girl and co-ed cheerleading squads will compete in nationals in Daytona Beach, Florida in two and a half weeks. We'll be right back after a short break to talk about men's tennis. And we are back. Men's tennis went 2-2 two and two over spring break. Shaquem, tell me about these wins and losses. Well, the Eagles were able to sweep SoCon for the Citadel in the first match of the weekend, but they could not hold their own against the College of Charleston. The Eagles repeated this pattern once again when they defeated App State and failed to Davidson College. This brings GSU to 7-6 and six on the season and 3-2 and two in the SoCon. That's a pretty impressive record. That's all the sports talk we have for you today. Thanks for tuning in and see you next Wednesday. Thank you.